Jesus was 20 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, but he did not. That which was right in the sight of the Lord, like David his father. For he walked in the ways of the kings of Israel and made also molten images for Balaam. Moreover, he burnt incense in the valley of the son of Hinnom and burnt his children in the fire after the abom abominations of the heathen whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. He sacrificed also and burnt incense in the high places and on the hills and under every green tree. Wherefore the Lord his God delivered him into the hand of the king of Syria and they smote him and carried and carried away a great multitude of them captives and brought them to Damascus and he was also delivered into the hand of the king of Israel who smote him with a great slaughter from Makkah the son of Ramalia slew in Judah an hundred and twenty thousand in one day which were all valiant men, because they had forsaken the Lord God of their fathers. And Zikri, a mighty man of Ephraim, slew Masai, Messiah, the king's son, and Azragam, the governor of the house, and Elkanah, that was next to the and the children of Israel carried away captive of their brethren two hundred thousand women, sons, and daughters, and took also away much spoil from them, and brought the spoil to Samaria. But a prophet of the Lord was there, whose name was Oded. And he went out before the host that came to Samaria, and said unto them, Behold, because the Lord God of your fathers was wroth with Judah, he hath delivered them into your hand, and ye have slain them in a rage that reacheth up unto heaven. And now ye purpose to keep under the children of Judah and Jerusalem for bondmen and bondwomen unto you. But are there not with you? But are there not with you? even with you sins against the Lord your God. Now hear me therefore and deliver the captives again, which ye have taken captive of your brethren, for the fierce wrath of the Lord is upon you. Then certain of the heads of the children of Ephraim, Azariah the son of Johanan, Barakiah the son of Meshullam, Jehizkiah, the son of Shalom, and Amasa, the son of Hadlai, stood up against them that came from the war, and said unto them, Ye shall not bring in the captives hither, for whereas we have offended against the Lord already, ye intend to add more to our sins and to our trespasses, for our trespass is great, and there is fierce wrath against Israel. So the armed men left the captives and the spoil before the princes and all the congregation. And the men which were expressed by name rose up and took the captives and with the spoil clothed all that were naked among them and arrayed them and shod them and gave them to eat and to drink and anointed them and carried all the people of them upon asses and brought them to Jericho, the city of palm trees, to their brethren. What then? Then they returned to Samaria. So they had all these captives and all their stuff. And then this guy, Obed, a prophet, came up to him and said, you just let him go back. So he not only let him go back, he dressed them all up. He, he tried, they tried to make it the best they could and sent everybody back. At that time, to King Ahaz sent to the king of Assyria, For again, the Edomites had come and smitten Judah and carried away captives. The 
Philistines also invaded the cities of the Low Country and of the south of Judah, and had taken Beth Shemesh and Ashelon and Gedaroth and Shojo with the villages thereof, and Timnah with the villages thereof, Gimzo also in the villages thereof, and they dwelt there. For the Lord God brought Judah low because of Ahaz, king of Israel. For he had made Judah naked and transgressed sore against the Lord until Gath Bileazar, king of Assyria, came unto him and distressed him, but strengthened him not. So he would not, Assyria would not help him. For Ahaz took away a portion out of the house of the Lord and out of the house of king and out of the princes and gave it unto the king of Assyria but helped him not but he helped him not so Ahaz is taking stuff out of the temple and giving it to king of Assyria somebody else just did that because then, then I had to bring up Belshazzar. But somebody else just did the same thing. I don't know, the Levites are stealing. That's pretty bad. They're stealing money that was supposed to go to Fixing the temple and making it perfect. Yeah, I'll go back and find out. Because somebody just did that same thing. This is the second time. In a row. Huh. I'll find it, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know if I... Who was it? It was a king. It was a young king. No, that was Belshazzar who did that. Somebody else did it. I don't know. That story about Athaliah is mind-blowing. I don't know how people even understand this without the internet. Without going to Strong's, you have to have, like, throughout these, those two chapters, for chapter 21 and 22, you could write, like, five books on it, like, ten, like, a hundred. Oh. And in the time of his distress, did he trespass yet more against the Lord that is that? So, yeah. most of these kings will talk about how they get into distress. The prophet will come and listen to the prophet and clean up their act. But they're saying Ahaz, he just gets worse. There's, he's intransigent. There's no helping Ahaz. For he sacrificed him to the gods of Damascus, which smote him. And he said, because the gods of the kings of Syria help them, therefore will I sacrifice to them that they may help me. <laughs> but they were the ruin of him and of all Israel. And Ahaz gathered together the vessels of the house of God and cut in pieces the vessels of the house of God. Oh, and shut up the doors of the house of the Lord. And he made altars in every corner of Jerusalem and in every several city of Judah he made high places for incense and to other gods and provoked to anger the Lord God of his fathers and the rest of his acts and all his ways first and last behold they are written in the book of the kings 
Finally, we're going to get a good a good king. They all got progressively worse. And like, um, Jehoshaphat's son. Jehoram. In that whole mimicking thing that's going on right there, they're all bad. And I think... There's something to it when there are twin names, and this is a, this is one of the worst situations I think I run into, and it has been presented just on the surface that I can see, because there have been similarities in names at the same time, maybe later, I was having a lot of trouble there seems to be a lot of people named Azekiah, all that stuff. I couldn't even deal with it. But this chapter, chapter... It's probably starting with like 21. But 22 and 23 of this, of Second Chronicles. Mm. Unless you're really going after what you're trying, what they're saying, mm, you can just transpose this one Jehoram for just like one person, but this is not the case, and it has like it just like all everything just came to a chaotic point with this story in particular because there's two people named the same name, there's two Jehorams, they're both kings at the same time and they're related because of this right and it's like almost like okay there's that thought that no stay away do not ever marry out of Israel do not do it you will be brought to other gods you are gonna you're gonna wreck everything and every time they do it it happens here is a case so this Jehoram marries Ahab's daughter Athaliah and she has a brother named Jehoram who eventually became king of Israel but this Jehoram he's just going down the two it doesn't matter what happens right how good he was he marries her that's it right and then I think their their son died one of their sons and she went absolutely nuts and she she wanted her son like on the throne and she just killed all the seed of Judah and one person got away they hit him this guy Joash they hit him this woman she, she's like a she's like a Judas but before Judas because that was the end of Christ's life she's like Herod She's like everyone that was really bad trying to prevent the seed. This in this story, you, like if the internet wasn't here, like I don't have a strong, so I'm I'm relying on the internet. And even if you had a strongs, is it really gonna explain it? Probably. But this is like so complicated this chapter 22 and chapter 23 there's no way unless like the holy spirit directs you to because it's not saying there's two jehorams it's like you get to this point you're like what's going on with this story it's weird you just have to rely on um the holy spirit's giving me discernment and the internet <laughs> But yeah, so it's good, but it's just getting worse. And this guy Ahaz, he's just he just runs it into the ground. It was getting like really satanic. The whole lines, all these lines are satanic. They're getting so bad. 
They're all pharisaical. Nobody is obeying. Look what he does. Ahaz gathered together the vessels of the house of God. He cut it all up and shut the doors so he could burn stuff in the groves and the high places. That's it. But we know Hezekiah's going to save the day. So I guess he's his son. And no, I don't remember. And no, I'm not reading. I'm not preparing for what I'm reading. That's what I'm talking about. But we did read about him in Kings, right? There was like two good kings of Judah. Like this whole time. In like 40 years. Like in about like, I don't know, like 500 or 600 years. Or a thousand years or something. I don't know how many years. But... I already put that list up, didn't I? Well, I'll have to do it again. Of the fact that all these kings are so bad. I must have put it up in kings. We'll have to redo it. This is what happens when there's too many names. Sorry, Lord. Too many names for me. 